Hello my dear, so this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this short well I am going to share with you types of matrix. So basically uh, there are many types of matrix and we will go one by one. Okay. So what is basically matrix? You know that it's a combination of rows and uh, columns, right? So let's go for it. First of all we will start with uh, a simple matrix that is known as square matrix. So what is square matrix basically? When rows is equal to column, let's say M is row and N is column. So when row is equal to column in any matrix that is known as square matrix. For example, 1, 2, 2, 1. It's this example of square matrix and it's 2 by 2 square matrix. If I'm talking about 3 by 3 square matrix, then 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1. It's 3 by 3 square matrix. So this is an example of a square matrix. Now let's move to the next matrix that is known as diagonal matrix. So what is basically diagonal matrix when its diagonal elements, non-diagonal elements are 0. So 1, 2, 3, suppose that's diagonal elements. Yeah. So this is the diagonal matrix of 1, 2, and 3. This matrix is known as diagonal matrix. Now we'll move to the third matrix that is known as scalar matrix. What is scalar matrix basically? If if all matrices, I mean all its diagonal elements are of same value, just like 2, 2, 2, and this is known as scalar matrix. So, this is the third example of types of matrices. And now we we'll let's move to the next example that is known as upper triangular matrix. upper triangular matrix so basically what is upper triangular matrix uh, let's take an example that's why we can understand it quite easily 1 2 5 6 2 1 yeah it's upper upper triangle values upper triangle will having values and it's lower triangle I mean upper diagonal values all of the values will be 0 that's why it is known as upper triangular matrix if we'll talk about lower triangular matrix then it's like this suppose that uh, 1 2 3 5 and it's 5 6 1 0 0 0 it's lower triangle having all values and it's other than diagonal values it's upper one having 0 0 values this is known as lower triangular matrix. Now let's move to the another matrix. That is what, is, what we have used till now. We have used uh, uh, what we have studied till now. Square matrix, diagonal matrix, scalar matrix. Yeah, I must go for unit matrix. What is basically unit matrix? If it's all diagonals are 1, 1, 1 and uh, this is also known as you know this one we can say this to i3 is it i3 so this is known as unit matrix right now we have now studied around uh, six matrices now let's move to the next seventh one that is known as null matrix null matrix having zero zero values in all the elements of in a matrix of a uh, matrix in which all the elements are of zero values that is known as null matrix so this is all about you know types of matrices okay so basically you know what happened if you are preparing for examination or maybe if you are preparing for interview then most of the time uh, i mean people i mean uh, the examiner or maybe the interviewer as type of matrix so knowing and understanding the, all these types of matrix is also important for uh, doing better in the examination right
so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye